Samsung isn't slowing down. Just as One UI 8 is starting to roll out globally to the Galaxy S25 series, firmware for One UI 8.5 has already been spotted on Samsung servers. That's right, before most people even get the latest update, Samsung's next version is already in the works. Now, why does this matter? For one, it shows how seriously Samsung is taking its software strategy. If you remember the rollout of One UI 7, it was a mess. Delays, confusion, and months of frustration for Galaxy users who had to wait while other Android brands pushed updates much faster. With One UI 8, Samsung clearly wanted to avoid a repeat of that, and so far, they've been moving at record speed. And the fact that 8.5 is already being developed tells us the company doesn't plan on slowing that momentum anytime soon. Here's what we know so far. One UI 8.5 has been in development for a couple of months, and now the first real firmware has appeared. That's usually the sign that active testing is happening behind the scenes. But don't expect it to drop immediately on your Galaxy S25 Ultra or any other phone. Realistically, One UI 8.5 will launch officially alongside the Galaxy S26 series next year. Still, it's possible that the S25 series could start testing it a bit earlier. So, what kind of changes could One UI 8.5 bring? Right now, details are scarce. The only thing that's floated around is a possible update to the Samsung Internet browser. Beyond that, Samsung has kept things very quiet, especially since they patched a loophole that used to let people grab early firmware before beta testing began. That means we might not see as many leaks as before, at least until Samsung starts opening public betas. But here's the bigger picture. Samsung's rival Apple just dropped iOS 26 with a fresh redesign and a ton of new tweaks. Naturally, people are asking, will Samsung counter with something major in One UI 8.5? It's too early to say. The company could keep it as a lighter update with refinements, or it could surprise us with a more noticeable redesign. Either way, the fact that they're moving this quickly suggests they don't want to fall behind in the software experience battle. Think about it. Software is becoming just as important as hardware when it comes to choosing a smartphone. Phones are already incredibly powerful. What makes them stand out now is how smooth, feature-rich, and up-to-date the software is. Samsung knows this, and it's probably why they're pushing so hard to stay ahead with One UI updates. Now, if you're a Galaxy S25 Ultra owner, here's what this means for you. Don't expect to wake up tomorrow with One UI 8.5 on your phone. You'll keep getting One UI 8 updates and improvements, and eventually, maybe some early testing of 8.5 will happen. But the real debut is almost certainly tied to the Galaxy S26 lineup. Still, there's a silver lining. Even if One UI 8.5 is months away, Samsung's faster pace means you won't be stuck in the kind of limbo that happened with One UI 7. The company clearly learned from that mistake, and users are benefiting from quicker rollouts and smoother transitions. That's a big deal in the Android world, where updates can sometimes feel like a lottery. Personally, I think Samsung's timing is very intentional. They've seen Apple bring strong software updates year after year, and they want Galaxy owners to feel just as valued. By pushing One UI 8.5 into development early, Samsung is signaling that it's committed to giving users more consistent improvements, not just saving the big stuff for new phone launches. So here's the bottom line. One UI 8.5 is real, it's being tested, and it's moving fast. But you probably won't see it officially until the Galaxy S26 arrives. Until then, all eyes are on Samsung to see whether this next update is just a refinement or if it's something bigger that can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Apple's iOS 26. Either way, the pace Samsung has set is good news for Galaxy users, and it shows that software is becoming just as competitive as the hardware itself. And honestly, that's exactly the kind of pressure we want to see. Because when Samsung and Apple push each other on software innovation, the real winners are the people using these phones every day. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section. See you in the next video. Take care.